Hi guys, this is Miss Miller and I'm the Messy Art Teacher and I wanted to show you how can you use uh, Microsoft Office to create a document that your students can go in and type on a worksheet and this is a what the font worksheet that I have for students in my high school class to identify different kinds of fonts. So we use Microsoft Office um, and I'm going to also make another video on how would you do this in Google Slides. So I'm doing this in uh, PowerPoint. Okay, so when you actually left click, there are text boxes here, but if I were to actually click on this, it doesn't move it anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new slide here and I'm going to left click on here and then I'm going to hit the delete key and remove that. Okay, so I want to actually add the worksheet as an image to the background. And so what I want to do is I want to go to my format option in the menu bar, go to slide background. Okay, this will pop out. Okay, then I want to pick picture or texture fill. I left click on that. Down below it says insert picture from a file. So I click on that. I have my first page as a JPEG and so it needs to be a JPEG and then I'm going to hit insert and there it is and so I can click on this it's not going to move anywhere okay to add the little text boxes that I had I go to the text box icon right here I left click on that and I can click and drag a text box and I'm going to type in click oops, click here to, to type okay so then your um, students will know if they just left click on that, they'll be able to type in their answer. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to copy and paste that text box so I don't have to keep dragging them. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit Command C to copy. If you're on a PC, I believe it's Control C. And then I want to hit Command V to paste. And then all I have to do is drag that and place it. I'm going to just keep doing that, drag it and place it, and then I'm going to drag it and place it. Now if I have to move it ever so slightly, I can use my little arrow keys, and I keep going, and it's very pretty quick and easy. And so I would just add those text boxes on each one, and the nice thing about this, then you will have a file that they can go in, they can type in their answers and respond very easily. And it's not going to cause anything to reflow. Okay, and so my document's done. And I'm just going to hit Command S to save it, or I would hit um, Control S on a PC. So that's just a really quick tutorial on how I took my worksheet, which I originally created in Adobe InDesign, but at this moment where we are doing distance learning, my students don't have access to their Adobe um, Creative um, a software because everybody has different setups. So it was really great that Adobe did give us licenses to use at home, but then the problem was um, they have all completely different setups. So I know a lot of teachers are probably running into that same kind of issue and you're finding alternate alternate activities and things that they can get um, some instruction while they're away from school. So I hope that helps you out. Okay, bye.